What up, Caterpie DCG here, and once again, it's like 9.30, so I'm going to try and be a little bit quieter, because the neighbors are probably going to sleep. Um, but today I'm doing a deck profile of Decidueye Zoroark, and this is a deck that I, like, built it thinking I love the deck, and I actually absolutely hate it. Um, and this is the list that I found is the cons most consistent list, but I still, it breaks so bad. And I really don't like this deck, and I was considering playing it for, like, a League Cup or something, but it's too bricky to play for a League Cup. Um, so first we play four Rowlet, obviously needed to get your, um, Decidueye GXs into play. Um, two Dot Tricks, um, you can even play one, I know most lists like to play three, um, but really we're trying to go for the Rare Candy here, so, um, Two is probably the perfect amount right now. Um, for Decidueye GX, these are sort of just stack up on your bench so that you can do like anywhere from 20 to 80 damage just in random places each turn, in addition to your damage with Zora GX. Um, and then Razor Leaf is useful sometimes, and a Hollow Hunt is often very useful because um, you can get, you know, like. You can get one Decidueye set up with like Rare Candy or whatever, and then Hollow Hunt the cards that you used to set up one Decidueye back and get another one set up. Um, or potentially two set up, depending on what your board state is and whatnot. So, um, three Zora. Um, you want to use the Zora with Ram because uh, you can attack with it if you absolutely need to. You cannot attack with the other ones. Two Zora GX um, trade. You can discard cards from your, a card from your hand and draw two. And then Rider Speeding does 20 for each of your Pokemon in play. So a max of 120 without any other amplifiers. And then one Sting on Zora. I just like this um, to have from Mind Jack. And if you need to play a seven prize game, um, it's not that useful. So you could cut it for like a Tapu Koko or a Mewtwo. But um, I like it. So. Two Tapu Lele GX for Wonder Tag, which is where you, uh, when you play it, you get a support a card from your deck and put it in your hand. Um, so kind of like the old Jirashi GX. One Tapu Koko GX uh, for Flying Flip because it gets um, damage spread out more, um, so that you um, don't have to um, snipe as much. Sorry, I keep saying um. One Espeon EX for Miraculous Shine, which devolves your opponent's Pokemon. Um, so when you have the damage on them, like 20, 40, 60 damage on them, you can devolve them and make it easier for them to be killed. Um, typically you want to do this when they have enough that devolving them will knock them out, but for supporters you can play 4 and um, 4N is probably better, but I prefer 3N and 1 Lily, um, but 4N is probably better. Uh, 4 Sycamore, um, this is my favorite support in this deck, just to get cards faster. 2 Uzma, just to switch. Switching is always good, but only 2 because you don't really need to switch that much with your sniping. 2 Bridget to get out. Typically you want to get out 1 Rowlet and 2 Zora. Um, but if you already have a Zora in play, then you want to get one Zora and two Rowlet. It just depends on what you have in play. Um, just to get basic Pokemon out faster. Um, one Mallow. This works well with, uh, tr the trade ability, because you can search your deck for two cards, uh, stack your deck with them, and then discard a card and draw them. So Mallow works really well with this deck. For Ultra Ball, because you want to discard some cards sometimes that you don't need, and you also obviously need to get out Pokemon, so Ultra Ball is a great resource for that. For Rare Candy, just to evolve your Decision Bites faster. 3 Timer Bell. Um, I actually prefer this to Evo Soda in this deck, just because sometimes you'll need to get multiple evolutions out, and while it is might be kind of bad to take the chance of not getting any, it is more rewarding than getting one when you get two. 
So I prefer Titanfall. Two floatstone. Um, it's good for retreating and switching, and you know, there's not much to say about floatstone. Also, stand in. Um, if you're unsure what to put up, um, and you have a Zora in play with a floatstone, and there's no ability lock, you can basically put up whatever you want, and then stand in, and then retreat, um, and then put up whatever you know you need to do. A uh, two-choice band. Um, you don't really need that much damage enhancement, just because you're mostly getting that from your snipes. But it is good to have it in some instances, so. Uh, three field blower to take care of Garbodor, because Garbotoxin just trashes his deck. Um, and one rescue stretcher, one special charge, um, just to uh, recycle your resources for DCE, and three grass energy. So this is a Deciduize Zoroark deck, you know, you wanna, uh, get as many Deciduize in place as possible, and attack with a Zoroark GX. Um, I don't really like this deck, but, um, maybe you guys will. Um, and if you do like this deck, you should leave a like on this video, and subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content, and like this video.